Dr. Carter here at Lexington Podiatry and we're going to trim some toenails today. This young man says he's got some hooves and we're going to take them off as long as we leave the toes attached, he said. So let's get started. All right. As you can see, this one curves in pretty bad. This one looks like it's been snagged on a sock or something there. So this is going to make you feel so much better. I've had a kind of hard life. Yeah, I'm sure they've walked. Oh, what branch? Huh? What branch of the military? Air Force and it's called it Special Forces. Cool. Yeah. I it's okay. I did my training at the VA hospital in Dayton, Ohio, and I spent a lot of time at Wright Pat. <laughs> I've been there at Wright Pat. Yeah? Air Force. Mm-hmm. One of the things we do when we're trimming toenails is we check in between the toes. There's a lot of dead skin that can build up in there. Um, as we get a little bit older, sometimes our toes aren't as flexible. And when you wash them, you sometimes don't get down in there as good as you think. So the skin just kind of builds up. It's not dirt, it's not gross, it's really just dead skin. So what well, I, I do. I don't need to get the wash off, it kind of fall away. <laughs> right. We got to make sure we get down in there. And so I just use a washcloth and like floss down in between there, okay. especially when they're nice and wet. And that will help to remove that and keep that skin exfoliated. Okay. Okay. Perfect. All right. I'm going to try to not cover these so Tara can see them. So these are not super thick, which is good. They're just long and they do need trimmed. Um, the big one is really the one that I'm looking forward to doing because it has a little bit of blood up under it there. Um, and that's probably just from pressure because it is so long and so curved in. Are we talking about that black spot? Yeah. Okay. And underneath, oh, it's really loose too. Look at that. It's really only attached a small little section down there. So I'm going to be able to take this one almost all the way off. Oh, the toe? <laughs> <laughs> nope, just the nail. You can keep the toe. I don't Thank want you. it. You're welcome. Ooh. I know, those things are flying. I guess the next time Barry comes to see the horse, <laughs> you have to do me. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. All of that <laughs> skin really just builds up in there. It's debris and skin cells, all kinds of fun stuff that we can scrape out. There we go. Are you ticklish? A little bit. Look at that. Let me see if I can pull that little piece out. Whoa, oh my gosh, look. It's almost like you had another nail growing under there. And it was really just pretty much skin cells. Jeez, oh, this is a good one. What is it? Replacement. The one up top? <laughs> yeah, I'm right. <laughs> so people ask me a lot if it's going to hurt to trim nails that are really loose like this. And of course the answer is no, because the skin or the nail bed beneath it's already healed. When a nail's loosened, it's had time to separate and time to heal, so it doesn't hurt. And I can trim the whole thing back like this. So we really almost took off your whole entire nail. Are we gonna take it off? Well, we pretty much did. Oh. Yeah. And you didn't feel a thing, other than me tickling you. Oh, new one's coming back? Um, this is still the same one, but it will grow out. It takes sometimes nine months, sometimes a year, for a new nail to grow in. This is just some skin, once again. It's kind of like a callus, only it's on your nail bed. All right, one foot down, one to go. Here we go again. Let's do the flossing. <laughs> You're gonna be <laughs> our flosser. If you could just stand up and do the dance, that would be great. Have you heard of the dance, the floss? The what? 
Have you heard of the dance called the floss? No. I think you could do it. He's so ticklish. It's really amazing. Look what can hide in there. put his wife's eye out. Good thing she has on glasses. Right. We're all gonna duck. If you guys could see Tara's eyes right now. They're beautiful. It won't be your fault, huh? Correct. Yes. Not responsible for falling toes. That is true. This is another good one. I don't know. It's not loose like the other one. So it'll <laughs> be completely different. I really hope the sound is transferring. It just crumbles beneath the nippers. This may be the most fun thing I do today. Bet you didn't think that, did you? There we go. Whew. All right, we're almost finished. Okay, well. <clears throat> it's old. Got it. It's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't cut one off on accident yet. I've cut a few off on purpose. Sometimes this debris can actually even be more painful than the nail itself. And sometimes it gets as hard as well, and you have to clip it. I'm sticking my finger up in the air. I'm so used to covering it, so I don't put an eye out. Perfect. Look at all that. Awesome. All right, let me grab the Dremel real quick. See if we can smooth them out. And we might even paint them pink if he's real nice to us. <laughs> as long as I let him keep the toe. All right, with this, because his aren't so thick, we're really just trying to obviously tickle him. We just wanna smooth them off, make sure there's nothing that will snag on his sock. Let's look at the other one, my dear. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's pretty smart. I might have to record everything. Being a podiatrist, you do develop cat like reflexes when people jerk like that. It's easy to kind of pull away. All right. There we have it. You're gonna feel so much better. Um, putting a shoe on will be so different for him. There won't be any pressure on the top of the nail. They won't be banging into the tips of his shoes. We'll repeat this every nine weeks or so so we can keep them maintained and we don't get into that position again. So we wanna make sure we keep you from getting wounds, keep you from getting infections, um, and of course just make you feel better. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day.